how you doing out there today? Hey, today we're going to go over how to take data from Google Earth Pro, put it into your Active Captain app, and then transfer it into your Garmin unit. Um, there's a lot of videos out there where you have to change the file names. I'm just going to show you how to do it manually. It's fairly quick if you only have a few points to transfer. So stay tuned. We'll get right to it. And so our journey begins. So if you haven't already downloaded the Google Earth Pro software onto your desktop computer, you need to go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and go to Google Earth Pro. And from there you have three options. Now your mobile option, you cannot download Google Earth Pro on a mobile phone, so it's got to be to your desktop. Download and accept. And since mine was already downloaded, it went pretty quick. So I'll kind of show you that again. Okay, and now you have it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Google Earth Pro. Find it in the applications, or go to it through the icon, whichever you prefer. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go to Welsh Reservoir, Texas. So up in the upper left-hand corner in the search bar, go ahead and type that in. Of course, you may want to go somewhere else. I want to go to Welsh Reservoir. Select it, hit search, and Google Earth Pro will take you to it. All right now, you can see I've already put a couple of points on here. And excuse my fingers, I'm doing this on a laptop, so I'll be going in and out inconsistently from time to time. So there's an island out here and I'm not sure what that is. I haven't been there yet. But let's go ahead and mark that. So we're going to go up here and we're going to pick a pin and we're going to move it over to our first spot. And I already have these marked. So you can see over in the left hand side as I move that pin, the coordinates are moving. So you don't need to save every place. I'm just going to move the pin over here where I want to see it. And then I'm going to get into my Garmin and put my coordinates in. Or into my active captain, excuse me. Uh, I marked both ends of this island. But here's a new spot over here that I had marked before. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to mark that. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and open up our Active Captain app on our phone. And we're going to go to the settings down in the bottom right hand corner. From there, we're going to go to units. And then we're going to go to position. And we're going to change it to the middle selection there. And this is where you guys can maybe help me out a little bit. Because I've never been able to hone it in uh, to match Google Earth Pro exactly the same. Okay, so from there just tap the screen. And go to the top quadrant and tap it. It always goes to the last selection, which my last selection was a park. So let's go there. Now from there we can change the icon. 
you can see I've got that tree that says park so let's go ahead and change that and we'll select something different so let's scroll down what's that it looks like a bush for that lay down let's try that oh wait a minute no that says a weed bed so let's try something else go back in there we'll scroll around a little bit since it's a lay down I think we'll call it a stump which is down here at the bottom let's go back there and we'll select that okay so now that we have the icon now we gotta give it a name and what I do I'm, I'm gonna name it for the lake which is Welsh because I have several lakes in there and I'm gonna call it LD tree well I can't call it a tree you have very limited characters so as you can see I'm messing around here like I'm gonna call it a tree so it's gonna be Welsh LD for lay down and I should have put a one after it but I didn't alright so now let's go ahead and change the coordinates to match what we have on Google Earth and you'll always want to double check these because as I was going through I noticed that I did not put the uh, right coordinate in so you'll see me go back here in just a minute Now, as I mentioned, you'll notice on the Google Earth, what I'm typing in on the last portion of the coordinate is a rounded number. So if you guys got any ideas out there of, of how to do this to, to really hone it in, I'm, I'm all ears. <laughs> like I say, I'm not an expert, but I've double checked this against some of the waypoints that I've marked out on the lake, on my local lake and it is very close very accurate okay now we have that marked and now we can scroll around it's clear on the other side of the state so we can take a look at it now and as you can see that stump is a, right there and about in the same place where we marked it it's not a stump it's a lay down sorry about that now let's go on to another one okay so let's move on up the lake a little bit and see what we can find we'll scroll around here a little and it looks like another lay down over here so let's take a little closer look at that. Yeah, I like that. Let's go ahead and mark it. So we'll go ahead and drop another pin right on it. There we go. And we'll go ahead and rename this. We'll call it Welsh LD Laydown for number two. Now I have gotten to where I've ran out of ran out of room because I got up over 10 on my home lake so all right we're gonna leave it as a stump and go ahead and change the coordinates and this probably is a little bit slower than doing it the other way but for me where I'm only doing you know I'm gonna to go to this new lake and I want to mark some good areas and I'm gonna put in probably I don't know maybe 20 waypoints uh, it's a little easier for me than than going through the whole download and renaming it but uh, I'll probably change my ways later but for now I, I kinda of like just doing it this way then when I get to the lake I'll go ahead and ride around and I'll mark some real waypoints 
but this will get me in the general location of, of where some fish might be. All right, and there we go. We'll go take a look at it. Make sure it's approximately in the same part of the lake. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. So as you can see, our coordinates all match. Now we'll move on to something you've probably seen on multiple other videos, but uh, the reason we use Google Earth Pro is we can go back in timeline. So up on the top here, get to it here in just a second, you got different icons. Sorry it didn't come up in the uh, when I was recording the screen, but it's called historical imagery. And you can go back in time with this. Uh, the last picture of this lake was in 2019. And you can see I'll scroll back and forth a little bit. And some of the images as you go back in time, they get real, uh, real grainy. So we don't want to go back all the way. But I'll show them to you anyway. Now, as you can see, this lake doesn't change a whole lot in elevation. It's a power plant lake. Uh, Google Earth Pro is great for lakes that fluctuate in, uh, you know, water level because you can see things underneath that you can't see, um, you know, during the current day. Uh, on my home lake, it was a big advantage. I found a lot of big boulders and some rock piles out there that were just offshore a little ways that are now in about 10 feet of water. Caught a lot of fish off those. So it, it's a great tool, it really is. And even for what I'm doing here, with the aerial view, I can go back and I can look at different seasons. Of course, there's not a lot of pictures of this lake. But I can look at the vegetation and, and how it's growing this year compared to maybe a couple of years ago and I can see some weed lines and a few contour lines maybe that you can't really see on the on the regular map that just pop out. The other thing you'll notice on my phone I had my my shading on and that can be adjusted as well and that's another video I plan on doing with the uh, Garmin units. After I turned my sonar unit on and opened up my Active Captain app, I went into my Wi-Fi settings and connected to the Garmin bow unit and then went back to the Active Captain app and just simply connected to it. It goes ahead and syncs up to the Garmin unit. And then once it's done syncing up to the Garmin unit, then I went ahead and double checked and made sure that the settings had taken and that they were in the unit and in both units. I went ahead and plugged both units in. I went into my charts, fishing chart. Then I went to the menu, waypoints and scroll down until I got to the Welsh which are the settings that we just put in so all the settings were in both units if you enjoyed this video hit like and subscribe let's get out on the water and have a great day